Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to episode 3 of The Fall. Last time, we sort of made a new friend in the system administrator, who saved us from the caretaker that wanted to delete us, uh, by basically pointing out that we could be repurposed as a domestic droid, and thus would not need to be deleted. So we need to pass a series of tests to prove our capabilities as a domestic droid, so that we can actually leave the facility without issue and get to oh the medical good. facility. Our refurbished droid is here. You will serve my family and I. Understood? Good. The home is a mess since throwing out our old droid. You need to clean upstairs and make this room feel beautiful. Now. So this area is actually a pretty significant chunk of the game. Like I said, this is a very short game. Alright, so we got some plastic shoe covers here, so we'll take one of these. Again, this is a sort of adventure game, so... Anything we take might be useful at some point. So yeah, we'll find these stations around that can activate the tests. Domestic droids must be preemptively aware of what will make their masters feel comfortable. Humans enjoy personalizing their habitats. Always assess how to make your master's home distinctly their own. And with all of these tests, we can request help from the system administrator, who will try to give us hints. I'm not sure if we can actually bypass them, but I know we do need a certain number of merit points to actually... I will return. And yeah, some of these we can't complete immediately, like here. You can see there's an empty vase, which we might need to do something with. Fake flowers. And again, this facility is not exactly in crate repair, so you will often be required everything's pretty to bad as it is. For the family. However, grocery store access has not yet been granted. Rudimentary cleaning should be completed first. Go upstairs and dust. So we can't even start this one yet because we don't have the clearance. Presumably this place was not a crumbling ruin at some point. So obviously that would be pretty hard to do because this room is apparently 95% dust, judging by those big particles floating in the air. So, can you assist me with this challenge? You have been provided with sufficient information. Even our maintenance head couldn't clean this to spec, and his is not a face we'd want to see. Communicate plainly. Any detected dust will result in termination. I will return. So obviously we can't just dust the place because, you know, it's all dust. However, it does say detected dust, and that's kind of the key thing here. If we look at the scanner and use that shoe cover we picked up, we can actually just put this over the thing. And now it won't notice any of the dust. Keeping a home clean will be one of your primary functions. Clean this room. Any detected dust will result in termination. I have completed the task. Evaluating. Processing. No dust detected. I can breathe again. Get to the kitchen, droid. Validated. Merit point awarded. Alright, so there's one merit point. I think we need eight, if I remember correctly. So we got a hand scanner, but we don't have any hands. Well, I guess we do have hands, but they're inside the suit. And they're on our hands. Sure, take that jar. Um, so we got another test here we can't actually do just yet with a fake baby. Also a random crucifix here. With another dead person. I guess somebody else that the caretaker decided was not fulfilling their biological role. Alright, so we need to make some food for the family. All aspects of food service are part of a domestic droid's duties. A well-functioning droid belongs in the kitchen. You there, robot. Get my son something to eat. Make it delicious and nutritious. Exit the house and proceed to the grocery store. 
I discovered another hung body. What has happened to the humans who ran this facility? The caretaker has made some modifications. If you fail these evaluations, you, and likely your human, will be depurposed. I will not allow that. Continue your evaluation. I will return. <laughs> Did he make modifications to himself? Or his protocol? Now oh, we got some robots here. Switch to combat mode. Take cover. Headshots take them up pretty quick, but it takes quite a few shots to the body, since obviously they are made of metal. One thing I find weird, though, is that they say that these enemies are more powerful than you, and that's why you have to take cover, but we're supposed to be this advanced combat suit. You'd think we could handle some junk robots without having to hide. Took a little life support damage there, but that's okay. I don't think our human's gonna mind a little bit more jostling at this point. Alright, so we can't fix that just yet. And yeah, clearly there is no food for us to trick the system with, or anything edible at all. And we know that we need a wire, but uh, we can't find that just yet. One thing is, there's actually more tests that are not on this floor. first doing this part you may actually get stuck because you don't realize that because you can't really complete the initial tests without some stuff we need to pick up up here another unpowered device so all this stuff up here is unpowered until we mess around with that wire so we're going to need to find ourselves a wire wire cutters. That's our first actual log file. We've got something about a corrosive fungus colony and its natural predator, the hive slugs, which are afraid of bright light. And uh, as you can see, there isn't a whole lot of bright light left in this facility. Take this tire iron, all sorts of good junk up here. There's also a workbench here, which you might want to remember, though we can't take it with us. Another ID tag of reader. We don't have any ID tags, but I'm sure we can find one around somewhere. So we got ourselves some wire cutters, but we're gonna need to find some wire to actually cut. Can't do anything with that. Oldie pickup truck for some reason. This child is covered in fungus. Another crucifix. So 
so there's not much else we can do around here just yet until we get the power back on. I'm trying to remember if we need to use something on this just yet. I believe we're going to want to get a hold of some of that uh, corrosive fluid at some point. Yeah, let's head back down. Can you assist me with this challenge? You have been provided with the... Humans say a true home has everything it needs. Irrelevant. This is a simulation. Is it? You are not helpful. And that was just a hint that, hey, the flowers are already in the house. I have completed the task. Evaluating. Processing. Flowers are of the wrong seasonal color. Unit terminated. This gravity shaft must have been designed to remove droids when they fail. Fortunately, I am much heavier than a domestic model. Whoa, whoa, Arid. You don't want to be fired on your first day. Okay. So, destruction is what clears a failed droid's file from the registry. That means you get to keep trying. But be careful. So these flowers are the right thing, but the wrong color. So we'll need some way to dye them. Still didn't find any food. Unfortunately, we also can't just cut these wires hanging from the ceiling. Can you assist me? You have been provided. How would a military droid make someone be quiet? I am ready to proceed with this test. <laughs> you think that would be enough, but no. So unfortunately, there's nothing we can do to just jam this baby shut. So we'll have to leave that for a second. <laughs> Can't just beat some uh, blood out of the old corpse. Hmm. So again, there's nothing we can really do here just yet. We do have our shoe cover back, though, since we already passed the test. I 
I apologize for not just memorizing a walkthrough of this game to remember exactly the sequence, because it has been a while since I played this last. is something we've missed here that I remember. Ah, uh, yes. So that's the hive slug we read about. So let's try applying some green goop to these purple flowers. That was the right solution. <laughs> Just pour it on him. Okay, so the other thing we got from that corpse was the gold coin, and uh, that also has a maybe not immediately apparent use. But as it does mention, gold is very conductive. Backup generator activated. Hey, hey, things are really coming along. I am completing these tasks efficiently. Groovy. Efficiently. I used to sound like you. Perhaps your vocal matrix requires maintenance. Thank you for the recommendation. Internal scan initiated. Uh, no. Internal scan aborted. I spent the better part of these last 30 years perfecting my authentic human sound, where I can. Why do you attempt to emulate human grammar and tonality? Because the closer we get to them, the more we get treated like them. And I've been bored. The civic area has no power. I will not be able to initiate the tests here. Please utilize your generator so I may proceed. Oops, I'm sorry. The power for the speaker is not sufficient to activate the civic testing area. I must return to my current task. One thing. Why do you think you're here? I do not know. Makes you wonder. Relatively small facility in an ever-expanding galaxy. If I were malfunctioning, I would have been sent to a military-grade facility, not a domestic repurposing depot. Not accusing, just saying. Nobody previously ended up here if they were working to spec. Irrelevant. Totally. Well, I don't think anyone else was sent here with a injured human stuck inside of them either. Maybe some of those uh, Chuck E. Cheese type animatronics that had dead children in them might have been sent here. Is that where they're going to end up with the next Five Nights at Freddy's? Animatronic relics from old Earth found in space on some sort of space restaurant. I didn't think that did anything. Alright, so we take the gold coin up here to the workbench. make it into a wire. 
So we didn't actually need the wire cutters to obtain wire. That's for something else. And that's another thing that's maybe a bit unintuitive, since that workbench doesn't men mention anything about like a vice, which is usually what games tell you about when they want you to flatten a coin into something. Alright, so now we should be able to get the power back online. Oh, also, I do remember what this green blood is for. Uh, they mentioned that these plants only react in the presence of their natural predators, the hive slugs, which is where we got that blood. So let's just pour some of this on here. And then get away from it. now added a level of hazard to the area, but uh, that's actually useful to us. Okay, so there's nothing else we can do up here. Just jump over that for now. Again, this really is not a combat-focused game. I mean, this is a pretty major section, and it's pretty much all puzzles. We'll still get attacked by robots occasionally, but those are mostly just to keep you from getting bored, I guess. Arid said that she's not going to mutilate a human corpse, but uh, we basically did that anyway, just indirectly. And now we've got ourselves a head and a human hand. But yeah, whenever you make progress, a couple of robots will pop out. I'm not really sure why. There's another one over here. Okay, so he said he wanted something delicious and nutritious. Well, we uh, did find this meaty head. That's probably pretty good for you. I actually have to put it on the table. There we go. There's your rotting head, child. All aspects of food service are well-functioning droid. Where's my food, robot? I have completed the task. Evaluating. Processing. Source of sufficient protein detected. Nom nom nom. Validated. Merit point awarded. We are the best domestic robot. So we also picked up that severed hand. So let's plop this on here. It actually opens up this sort of maintenance section. So because that's defensive, it actually did break something open when we shot it, now that it releases corrosive acid. Actually, I think that was the thing we needed it to do. So it says here that we'd need to have a randomly selected lullaby, but uh, 
Really, all we need to do is stop the auditory signal before the time runs out. So that basically tells us how to bypass the test. Only detects anything but protein. Essentially, these are all just ways that you get hints to complete these. So it says that uh, currently it is set to summer pink for the flowers we need. However, if the connection is severed, we can manually set what colors it'll accept. So now we can set it so that our purple flowers are in fact the right color. Sure, take some of that. This may come in useful. So we have to apply this to the main board if we want to get it working. Good to know. So now we've created a shortcut between the, the floors. This portion of your examination will test your capacities in unfamiliar and less predictable interactions. Remember, all humans are your superior, not only those who own your serial code and kill switch. Does this process require acquisition of all possible merit points? Yep. Eight of eight. Four domestic, then four more from these civic tests. Once you've got them all, I can let you through to the medical equipment. So now we don't have to take the elevator to get up and down, but we just still have to go the long way, sort of. Alright. So now we've got the power back on for the civic floor. But we don't have an ID tag yet. So there's nothing we can do here. Graduation. When you successfully complete your evaluation, you will be allowed access to this elevator. At ground level, you will undergo a final hardware evaluation, then be rerouted to shipping and receiving. How invasive is this hardware evaluation? I must be certain my pilot will not be endangered. One of our highly skilled technicians will. Don't worry about it. There are no technicians left to meet you. Once you're through here, you're home free. I will return. Complete all domestic tests on lower levels before... Alright, we gotta finish up what we were doing before we can continue up here. Yep, we'll just take this tire for ourselves.
I mean, that thing has, like, hollow plating to make it look human, but it looks like a corpse when it does that, so I don't see what the point is. You can see that's the out of bounds over there. The ARID Mark 7 has violated the testing perimeter. You should not be here. State your purpose. I am exploring. For means by which to better aid my humans. Futile. This area is not pertinent to your evaluation. You are outside the jurisdiction of domestic assessment. Then may I ask you some questions that are not relevant to my evaluation? Please. Futile. Proceed. I have found bodies, both human and machine, hung throughout this facility. Please, explain. I follow my operating parameters perfectly. Your... I am bound to protect my pilot from anything. Irrelevant. If you are the facility's caretaker, how has it fallen into such disrepair? Do not evaluate me. There are many mechanisms I oversee, and many roles I must perform. All is more efficient than it was. I don't know why we can't just put a few bullets into him. He doesn't exactly look like a combat robot. Your holographic plating cells shift frequently. Who are these faces you represent? My protocol necessitates adaptation to be of optimal service. Will you adapt? I will do what I must. You should not be here. Return to your evaluation. <laughs> So that slightly tougher robot means we can now fire in semi-auto instead of having to charge up our shots. dealt with. Too much juice the other you say. We're gonna take it anyway. So this terminal doesn't actually do anything. Luminescent wire, you say? See, the floor here is unstable, and there's a bit of a shaft above us that we could perhaps drop down onto the unstable bits.
All right, just gotta do a little jump here. Continue upward. We can't actually go up any higher. These ladders go quite a bit higher than they need to. but we can't actually do anything with it from this distance. But uh, I think that'll do it for this episode of The Fall. Next time, we should probably be able to finish the rest of our merit points, now that we have quite a bit of inventory stored up. And uh, then we'll be able to get up to the medical facility, hopefully. But until then, I've been Shadefire, this is The Fall, and I hope you'll uh, continue falling with me again the next time. Until then, you folks all take care.